Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll show you the first 10 things to do on your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus or S10. And uh, today specifically, I'll be using uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So guys, make sure you watch the video to the end since I will include my favorite extra things to do at the end. All right, without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into it. So first off, uh, you need to go and create a Samsung account. So with Samsung account, go into settings and then you look for accounts and backup and then tap on account. So go ahead and create your Samsung account. So once you create Samsung account, it enables you to share large files up to 2 GB using link sharing uh, with other Samsung users in your contacts. All right. And then the other thing, it's about a screen lock type so i know you guys are concerned about the security of your mobile phone so go ahead and set up your favorite screen lock type to safeguard your mobile so to do that go into the settings and then you look for lock screen right there so with lock screen tap on screen lock type so with screen lock type you can either go for pattern pin or password or you can do biometrics which is a face and fingerprints for the sake of this video i'll just go for pin so tap on that put in the pin you want and then confirm that and uh, once you're done click on that and then go back so if you lock it so you'll have to include uh, your pin to access it and then the other thing uh, is about the hardware of your mobile phone. So I would recommend uh, since uh, this phone is uh, fragile, so I would recommend uh, you get a phone cover or a phone case. So for my case, I got uh, uh, this case, as you can see right here. So for maximum protection of my phone, so I'll just fit that in. As you can see so it has this uh, ring behind the cover as you can see to provide support as you can see over there so this cover protector it of course protects uh, the phone from any kind of scratches in case it falls maybe on the ground or something like that so then the other thing uh, you can also include a screen protector a screen protector protect uh, your screen just in case uh, your phone falls off your hands and then once you include the screen protector then you have to increase the sensitivity to touch of your phone so go into settings and look for display so with display look for touch sensitivity so go ahead and turn on touch sensitivity so with touch sensitivity it increases the sensitivity of your screen for use once you include uh, a screen protector and then the other thing uh, let me say you have your new Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10 plus and then maybe you got uh, your phone from a, a certain carrier let me say Verizon AT&T T-Mobile for those who are in the US so and maybe there are some pre-installed apps so if you want you can go ahead and uninstall those apps so let me say I want to uninstall uh, this app right here so I'll just go and tap on that app so just go and tap on that app and then i tap on uninstall so they'll show you do you want to uninstall this app so you just press ok and then that app will be uninstalled so this applies to any other app that is that is pre-installed that you don't want uh, on your mobile phone all right then the other thing it's all about the easy accessibility of your apps so what you need to do just go on, on to search right here and then you look for the three dot icon so go into sort and then tap on alphabetical order so your apps will be arranged in alphabetical order for quick accessibility then the other thing uh, go into settings and then tap on notifications so with notifications go into status bar so go ahead and enable all notifications so in most cases uh, you might be limited to only three most recent notifications however 
if you want all all your notifications to be shown so go ahead and uh, toggle on all notifications and then the other thing go ahead and uh, toggle on show battery percentage let me say you're running short of battery or power so just go ahead and toggle that on so that you can easily see the percentage that you're remaining with over there and then the other thing going to display so there is this feature of dark mode let me say you spend out of time on your mobile phone so you can go ahead and toggle on dark mode which imposes less strain on your eyes all right then the other thing uh, go ahead and turn on blue filter so with blue filter you can turn it on immediately or you can decide to schedule and then the other thing you can also make any adjustments uh, depending on what you want and uh, once you're done you can also go into screen mode so with screen mode it's usually in natural however for you to get uh, improve for you to get improved color visibility and brightness of the colors as you can see over there so you go ahead and make it vivid and then the other thing so go ahead and tap on screen timeout so with so with screen timeout go ahead and increase it to five minutes or ten minutes depending on your preference since with 30 seconds or 15 seconds uh, your phone is more likely to black out even before you know it or before you finish whatever you're doing all right then the other thing uh I would recommend you go into home screen so with home screen go ahead and uh, toggle on apps button so with apps button let me say you're accessing your apps let me say you want to access your apps automatically you have to swipe up as you can see however you can go ahead and uh, go into home screen and then tap on apps button so on so once you toggle on apps button you'll be able to quickly access your apps by tap by tapping on the apps button over there so go ahead and toggle that on and then the other thing tap on lock home screen layout lock home screen layout so let me say you have children around and maybe they sometimes uh, use your phone and uh, maybe you have certain apps that you don't want to be moved from your screen let me say it could be gallery you know as you can see it can easily be moved or adjusted so if you have children around and maybe they get access to your mobile phone i would recommend you go into home screen and then toggle on lock home screen layout so once you toggle that on maybe you give your phone to your child so they won't be able to move the layout or the configuration of the apps of your home screen and then uh, the other thing is about swiping down for notification panel so usually for notifications you just swipe down as you can see and then for your apps you just swipe up however so if you go ahead and toggle this swipe down for notification panel once you toggle that on so i'm going to show you what happens once you toggle that on so for your notifications you just need to swipe from the middle of your screen to access your notifications like so and then the other thing for apps you just swipe up there you go and then the other thing uh, you can go into display and then you look for navigation bar so with the swipe gestures as you can see right here uh, with the home button you just swipe from from the bottom from the bottom in the middle of your screen and then recent button is from the left is from the left and then back button from the right so with swipe buttons as you as you can see so you don't have any back button home button or recent button however i will just go with uh, with the buttons navigation type so with that you can also switch the button order you can either go with that one over there which is the recent home and then the back button or you can stick with that so i'll go ahead and uh, stick with that and then the other thing you can tap on edge screen so with edge screen we have the edge panels and then the edge lighting so go ahead and tap on edge panels so with edge panels it gives you shortcuts uh, of your favorite features so let me say you want live messages to be accessed quickly or contacts 
which will go under people or maybe smart select options or tasks so you can go ahead and toggle or enable those in your age panel so you just tap on any of those and include them there and once you're done you just need to exit and then go into your age panel as you can see so you have settings samsung pay you know messages youtube so these are some of the shortcuts instead of going to your home screen and you look for them you can include them in your age screen as you can see we have some smart select options right here you know we have some other options to take a screenshot add an alarm or create new contacts so you can go ahead and go into settings and edit uh, whatever you want to include all right then the other thing you can go into edge lighting so with edge lighting you can decide to tap on lighting style so with lighting style as you can see you can choose any of these here as you can see and then once you're done you can go ahead and tap on color and then that and change the color that you want let me say i want red as you can see or maybe i want green so depending on the color that you want and once you're done tap on done and then you'll be good to go then you can also change show edge lighting when do you want the edge lighting to show i will stick with always however i can change it and then the other thing uh, for your new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus or S10, go ahead and tap on wallpaper. So with wallpaper, you can go ahead and uh, view my wallpapers and choose any of these wallpapers that you're interested in. And uh, so go ahead and so you go ahead and tap on any of those, and then you set them as preferred, or you can go ahead and uh, install any wallpaper apps and then make use of those to make your screen look awesome. So I've also made some videos about the best wallpaper apps for Android. So I will link those videos in the video description. So go ahead and check them out. And then the other thing, uh, look for digital well-being. So with digital well-being, tap on that. So with digital well-being, it shows you the time you spend uh, on your screen or the screen time or the time you spend using the apps and then also the most important thing about uh, digital well-being it also shows you uh, the weekly report over there and then they'll show you the weekly report uh, the most used apps and then the less used apps and uh, this will help you to improve on your productivity and know which apps to use more and which to use less all right then the other thing go ahead and tap on device care so with device care uh, you can go ahead and optimize your device in terms of battery storage and memory over there or you can also tap on the three dot icon and then tap on advanced so with advanced i would recommend uh, you toggle on auto restart so with auto restart you choose a specific day of the week so so you go ahead and choose the time let me say you choose 3 a.m so so once you choose that time that means that every Thursday of the week at 3 a.m. Uh, your phone will restart and uh, this will improve uh, on the functionality and the performance of your mobile phone. Go ahead and uh, look for biometrics and security and then tap on find my device. So once you toggle find my device on it will help you locate uh, this device uh, remotely just in case uh, it is misplaced or it is lost since it will show you the last location and it also, and it also helps you to keep your data safe all right that's it as regards to the first 10 things to do on your samsung galaxy s10 or s10 plus let me know if i've missed any of your favorite things that you did when you first got your samsung galaxy s10 or s10 plus uh, leave them in the comment sections below and if you did enjoy this video kind of give this video a thumbs up share the video and if you're new to our YouTube channel, make it a point to subscribe, tap that, no tap that notification bell so that you're notified whenever we release new videos. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.